Well, how's he missed that? He had a chance there. If it had made a sizable break, a frame winning contribution, it might have given the the lift to to push this match all the way, but you cannot miss when you're in like that. Not at this level. Looks as though he's just about covered the red though. But you will have to play a pot somewhere because he's got that red over the corner. Good shot. There's pressure on that. He would like to have run a, through an inch or so because he's hampered playing the pink, but it's made a little bit easy. He doesn't have a lot to do with the cue ball. Yes, well played. And now, frame and match at his mercy. Seven. Eight. Yeah, this is just the sort of opportunity you want, isn't it, for, to win the match. Not a safe red on the table. Nothing to do but just hold your concentration one shot at a time. Thirteen. Fourteen. I bet he held his breath there. He almost snippered himself. And again, he's not played that well. Played to follow through for the red that's over the left corner. Cue ball. Twenty. of a bounce but I don't think that was the reason well, he's not on the blue he's not making things any easier for himself here Previous shot in the pink, I would say 98% of players would have just rolled that pink in. But Judd, he much prefers to stun the ball. You see, he chooses to play a stun run through. If he just drops that in and rolls through, there's there's no chance of snooking himself. But he looks to have recovered the situation now because he's played that absolutely inch perfect. A couple of shaky moments, positional wise, but looks he's back in twenty nine. Good shape now. Thirty. It would be a boring game, John, if everyone played it the same way, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. And uh, it certainly breathed a little bit of life into the game as Judd Trump. 36. And has continued that tremendous run that he had in the World Championship at the end of last season with winning the UK. And uh, it's a little bit more difficult, particularly when you're 44. getting there. And we've got to remember that he's taken a few knocks along the way, as Judd, because he turned professional 45. in 2005. It's not as if he only turned professional a couple of years ago, so he really had to to work his way up the rankings. And now he's there, he looks completely at home. It's where he where everybody thought he should be. It just took a little bit longer than everybody expected. Just struggling now at the moment to get that cue ball in 50 inch perfect position. Yeah, 
two shots previously, I played a really careless shot on the red, he put the red into the side of the centre, which left him too much angle on the blue. John Trump, 50. Not over the line yet then, he's back to his seat, got a 26 point lead, but there's still a possible 59 left on the table. he could hope for there was to really leave it reasonably safe and it is reasonably safe I'm not certain whether Stuart will be tempted by this red to the far right corner he was hello oh well would you believe it and even if the blue is covering the direct line to the red he's got a red on the bolt line that he could not one onto the other He's got to be careful if he tries to play this cushion first because that red is right in the jaws of the pocket. You could miss it altogether. Couldn't be much more in the jaws. I don't know. It's not dropped, to be honest with you. Well, it was right in the jaws. You have to be very accurate. So Stuart Bingham was very fortunate there not to leave it. Oh, well, misjudged though. Is he going to pot two reds? One. Well, that puts a little bit of pressure on this brown now. Brown or green. If he's going to play the pots, he's got to get it. His hopes to stay in the Masters could depend on this next shot. <coughs> Green or brown. He's got to get it. Good shot. Very good shot. And the type of shot that can just give you confidence, a little boost. There's a lot of pressure on that one. Well, referee's not helping him his cause here. The green spot not available. And no other spot available. So just to remind you, it goes in a direct line with its spot and the top cushion. Four. So I think that red near the green is now unavailable. Okay. Five. I can only presume that this red over the right centre is not easily possible because I thought he would have played it there. So it's almost a bit more difficult than it looks on the screen. It looks easy enough, doesn't it? Purposely played the cannon. Well, I think this red will be dropped in. He'll finish up with a nice angle on the blue, but it's the awkward red behind the green that's the problem. 13. I don't think it pots, no matter where he put the cue ball. We'll have to disturb it. Disturb it, he has, as he developed it. Mm, I'm not sure. 18. It's a good effort. <coughs> He's looking at the potting angle. It's tricky, this. But it's a good one. 19. Well, what a turnaround this is. And the only all 
awkward ball now, really, you would feel, is the green. Just to get, well, if you could get the cue ball back to where it is now, that would be absolutely inch perfect. Twenty-six. Not one of his best. You can still pot this green, but it's tricky. Points are level. No. Didn't play a good shot on the yellow. Tried to 26. get too close to the green to make it unmissable, and he should have just made certain he stayed in the middle of the table. Bit of a let off there for Judd Trump, who's had a few chances to clinch this frame and the match. Decent shot. A couple of ways you can play this. You can play it thin and just send the green onto the top cushion or up and down. He's played the thin one and he's played it well. Good shot. Oh, miss. Airing on the side of hitting it. Very, well, missing it rather than hitting yeah. it. Because the problem is with this shot, if you just catch the, the green a little bit thicker than you intend, it will go back up the table with the white. I think it was a bit more that way, don't you think? Yeah, sure. Thank you. He's also got a shot if he hits the green straight on, the white will double kiss. And send the white back up. As long as he hits it dead straight, because if he hits it either side of the green, he's going to the white's going to go to the side and might leave a pot on. But it's certainly an option, and I think if he misses the green again this time, he might have to play it. Yeah, because if he tries the thin one and doesn't hit it, he'll get a warning. Oh, he's played it okay. In fact, he's played it very well, and the blue might be a bonus here. It certainly is. <laughs> Just a little bit too pacey. Four points behind, so he needs up to and including the pink. Refused it. Refused it. I'm surprised. I don't believe what I just seen. Yeah. I could not have refused that green all day. No, it looked like a natural three-quarter ball pot. Favour. I can't believe that Stuart was attempting the pot there. I think he was trying to hit it so it came off the top cushion, side cushion, and back to the top cushion. Anyway, here's another chance for Judd. One good positional shot needed. Three. Well, very close to the middle pocket, but Stewart sat there thinking this match could be over now. Seven. 
just blue and pink needed. Twelve. Well, Stuart Bing will be very disappointed here. He's not played his best, and he's been given one or two chances by his opponent. But in the end, it's Chuck Trump who goes through. He won the first frame, then he was always playing catch-up. But after he went ahead, 4-3, then 5-3, he runs out 6-3. Stuart Bingham disappointed, but Judd Trump is now through to the quarter-final for that head-to-head -head with...